I've been thinking about what you said at your house. How you were friends with Elizabeth. It was more than that, wasn't it? Perceptive as ever. You're right, we were together for a time. Okay, so... What happened? I was an orphan. I had always been alone. By my 30s, I was starting to wonder if that was simply my fate in life. And then I met Liz. We kept running into each other at conferences. We'd have coffee. At some point, it became drinks. I thought it was just shop talk, an exchange of ideas, but then I was surprised at how much I looked forward to seeing her. Soon we were flying halfway across the world every other week just to meet up. For the first time, I didn't feel lonely. I could imagine a future where I wasn't. I think Liz felt the same way at first. She had lost her mother a few years back. I filled a void for her. I know I did. But as time passed, it seemed as though she wanted less when I wanted more, and so we ended things. So helping me, restoring Elizabeth's dream, it's what, a, a second chance, yes. I made a mistake leaving Earth while Liz stayed behind. I should have done more. So when I saw you, a woman who has carved her own remarkable path, beyond even what made Liz a phenomenon, I knew I had to help you, to do right by her. Why did you make the data channel look like your house? I built that house as a shelter to weather any storm. A safe place, not just for me, but for the art stored in its depths. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value, truly some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Beta to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical data being drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. She needed its shelter even more than I did. Why do you think Elizabeth pulled away? I've wondered that for a thousand years. She was brilliant, visionary. She cared so deeply for the world, for the betterment of humanity. But it also felt like she kept everyone at arm's length, including me. She never wanted to share her burdens. I think, in the end, she had a core that she never let anyone be part of. Sometimes I wonder if anyone really knew her. I found a recording of you and Elizabeth back in the Proving Lab after Farzinet's attempt to steal Gaia. Yes. A most unpleasant conversation. She said something. After the call, I think she regretted how things ended between you. Did she? All this time, thank you for telling me. I've always hated that those were the last words we ever said to each other. And that her last impression of me was as a functionary of Far Zenith, not who I truly am. Okay. I'll let you know when it's time. I'll be here until then. And thank you, Aloy, for giving me this chance. My past has always been a struggle. More than once, I've lost everything. But when I look to the future, I see Liz's dream fulfilled. A universe of new possibilities. Maybe we can make it happen. We will. I won't let anything get in the way. I promise you that.